Good morning. We're here at River Mountain Antiques uh, with Debbie Dots. Good morning. How good are you morning. doing? I'm good. Good. Um, Debbie, can you tell me um, what a little bit of the history of River Mountain Antiques? Well, uh, me and my husband are both retired school teachers, and we always had a booth while we were teaching with different uh, types of furniture, antiques, things that he had made. And uh, as we got older and um, got into it more, when I retired in 2008, we opened a little store over on Commerce, and I was there for a year, and then I moved over here, and I've been here next week on the 15th. I will have been here for 11 years, so we've been open 12. Wow. Well, it, you have beautiful things, and uh, you know, you it has uh, you have several antiques here. Can you tell me where do you find your antiques since you sell? We just go all over. We go down to Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Kentucky. We just go and look. We don't usually do auctions. And uh, we uh, try to find people that have really good items that are in good shape. I hate to buy things that are, you know, really bad, torn up. But sometimes you have to do a little repair. But usually they're in good shape. Okay. Now, I know uh, that you have a clothing line here uh, that you sell, some different clothing lines. Um, and I know that you mentioned to me that a lot of your folks who come in and shop are seniors. And so when somebody comes in and you're telling them about the different clothing that you have, um, what, what do you tell them as far as, um, I think one of the clothing items that you have is called gauze. Uh-huh. Oh, my gauze. Okay. And so uh, how did you come about finding that line of clothing? Well, uh, it was started in Florida and a lot of people wear it at the beach because it's very comfortable. It's 100% cotton and uh, it's just something that's all solid but it has all colors so you can mix and match all the colors and it is just um, really generous so most of the older women like us can wear it as we start to get a little bit bigger with age and um, it's just it's just very comfortable, and once somebody wears it, it's, you know, it's like you're just hooked. you got to have it. Right. Now, is it, uh, like, easy to wash and take it care is. of as well? It is. It's very easy to wash. You throw it in the washer and then just take it out, put it in the dryer for just a couple of minutes, and then hang it up. It's not wrinkled. It looks great. It travels well. It sounds and it like fits, something I like. <laughs> it fits most sizes. It will fit um, the smaller size. We have small sizes. And then we also have up to like two X and sometimes even three X people can wear it. The bottoms are usually very, very generous. Okay. Now, also in the back of your store, I know that you have some vendors. Yes. Um, now, what all does that entail if somebody wants to get involved with that part of your store? Okay. Uh, well, we are looking for people that have antiques. We uh, would like for them to uh, be able to bring in their own antiques themselves or uh, any kind of vintage items, just not um, anything from like yard sales or stuff like that. And what they need to do is let me know they want to rent a space and show me some of their items that they have. And then it depends on the size of the space, the amount. So we have different, you know, ranges of prices. Mm -hmm. And then we charge 4% just uh, to process everything and you know and then um, if they're not happy they don't have to sign a contract or whatever or if they're not selling or whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now how many vendors do you have currently? We have about 12 or 13 vendors and then we also have people that have artwork in here, Brenda Bundred, uh, I know she paints at the Senior Center a lot. Also, Rita Osborne does the pottery, and she started out there. Uh -huh. So, uh, you know, we have other people also besides just vendors that sell antiques. Well, that's a good representation of folks that come to the Senior Center and make things. Um, so we're glad to hear that. Right. Um, now, I wanted to ask you too, Rita, um, or Debbie, um, as far as your store hours, 
What are your hours? We're closed on Sundays and Mondays. We're open Tuesday through Friday, 10 till 5.30, and Saturdays 10 to 4. Okay. Now, if someone uh, came in and, and they saw something, do you have, uh, if someone says, hey, can you hold that for me, do you do that? Yes, and we also have layaway. We'll okay. hold it for two days. We have layaway on our clothing. We have layaway on our furniture. And most vendors will give you 60 days. So, you know. Good. Now, can people find you on uh, Facebook? Facebook, yes, Debbie Dykes and River Mountain Antiques. I've okay. got it in both. And I post on both because I've got lots of friends with River Mountain, lots of friends with me, so I just kind of combine them. We also have, I need to mention, uh, candles that are made here in uh, down in Chucky, Tennessee. Donna, she's the girl that works for me on Wednesday and Thursday, and she does the candles, she does tarts and sprays, and she makes all of it in her house. Oh, great. So that's a good, yeah. you know, thing that sells really great. They last a long time, and they smell wonderful. Well, and it's great, too, that you have uh, local people right. who are selling we things like here to, in the store. Yes. Now, um, what is your telephone number here if someone wanted to call you? It's 423-247. Eight six six three. Wonderful. Well, you have a beautiful store. Um, I know I always enjoy coming and shopping here. And um, in fact, whenever we get finished, I'm gonna go look at some clothing. So, <laughs> thank David, you. we certainly appreciate you telling us all about River Mountain Antiques. Well, and thank uh, you for coming and asking about. It. Yeah, we we hope that people will come and check it out. And. Uh, they, again, they can find you on social media, on Facebook, right. uh, and I know that you put things on there, too, uh, that you have for sale. So check them out um, on Facebook, and come down and see Debbie here at River Mountain Antiques. She'd love to see you.